There we go. There we go. I forgot to turn up my microphone. That's what I forgot to do. Um, are we going out and are we recording? Uh, are we recording? Let me make sure I'm recording. Yeah, it's recording. And it's on Facebook. Good. We're all, all set now. We're all going. I couldn't tell because I had some stuff turned down here. And it wasn't uh, it wasn't saying it was okay. Anyway, hello everybody. How are you? It's uh, Monday. It's time for our pop up show. It's the show we kind of like because everybody's kind of nice, and uh, you know we talk a little politics because this time of the year you almost have to, okay, uh, because it's so prevalent as a subject matter, but nobody has to, and we don't usually do. You know. Hello, Marjorie. Hello. Hello. Wait a minute. I got to turn everybody up here. Say hello, Marjorie. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and uh, Charlene Solis. Hello to Charlene. And hello. Oh, there's Edward Berger. That's right. See? And uh, we love his voice. Uh, and uh, there's Len LaFrisco. And hello, Marjorie. Hey. <laughs> and Francine Witt. And Jeffrey Stein and Mandy O'Brien. And let me add Charlie Wallace here. Oh boy, we got a lot of people to start off with here. So hey, Alex, you want you want some of this Arnold Palmer? It's delicious. Yeah, I know. Uh, I was gonna mention <laughs> Wow, it's big too. I'm gonna mention that. Look at the size of this thing. I brought up Arnold Palmer. Uh, I was in a shower um many years ago, and I was mistaken for Arnold Palmer. So <laughs> that was Obviously. my situation with Arnold Palmer. Um, <laughs> Did you say you Palmer? believe that a presidential candidate what? is talking about a golfer's penis? Really? <laughs> well, you know, that's a man who is presidential quality. <laughs> he, he claimed to have palmed her. Huh? <laughs> Didn't he say that he palmed her or something about grabbing? I don't know. I, I get confused. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, I I don't understand the, uh, the the whole thing. The networks, however, a few days ago in his speech that he made, he used the word shit. Mm -hmm. I can yeah. kind of tell because I saw him mouth it. Okay. He used yeah. the word shit. Okay. They bleep it. But why do you bleep it? This is a guy who is running for president of the United States. You shouldn't bleep anything he says. You know, uh, I mean, I, 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 I grabbed him, grabbed her by the. Huh? Okay. Well, we never knew what that other word was because they always bleeped it. So why even run it? You're not going to play it. Come on. He's running for president. You can say Let him hear him say the word. You know, what was worse was the night, a couple of nights before, when he was at this Catholic dinner with the uh, head of the archdiocese. The what is it? Anybody here a Catholic? Mm -hmm. Bishop, mm -hmm. or he was not and, anymore. Uh, and he he was swearing up a storm. Yeah, in front of the archbishop. <laughs> What, what did you hear? Did you hear him talking about um, Weinstein? That yeah. He was friends with Weinstein before Weinstein got schlonged. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. He did say that. Yeah. yeah. I, don't make, I don't make this up. What is get, but what is getting schlonged? To me, it's <laughs> getting penis. Yeah, well, schlonged schlong is the same as, as you, you know what the word means in Yiddish, but what it's is the same as what, what he was talking about on Ar Arnold Palmer's Anatomy. But to be schlong means to get to get screwed, as mm -hmm. if this guy who was a predator. I mean, it it, it speaks to character. If well, you I mean, if you I, think a guy who was a predator who got in all these tr in trouble and he's in prison for it got screwed over, I, I guess you think that that behavior is okay, which is what he does believe. Well, I'll tell you what I don't get, and and I think we can slightly talk about politics on this show only because it's so predominant in our lives right now <clears throat> oh. and in another uh, 14 15 days was 15 14 15 days yeah um tomorrow yeah yeah 15 days 
Uh, we're going to have to make a major decision in this country, and it's probably one of the most important we've ever made. So to sit here and not mention it would also be wrong, too. Uh, and we all know how bad this guy is. And you don't have to watch MSNBC to find that out. All you have to do is just read what he says, okay? And then there are still people in this country who are undecided. <laughs> and they, they're interviewing him on TV and they're saying, I need more information. What? Yeah. <laughs> what what more information do you need? Does he need to come up and pat your wife on the pussy? <laughs> you know, I mean, come on. Uh, I, I, uh, 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 Black. Um, Lewis. Lewis Black did a bit on, on The Daily Show a couple of nights ago. It was hilarious. It was exactly what Marjorie's been saying about if you haven't made up your mind by now, don't even vote. I mean, forget yeah. it. You know, you're a moron. <laughs> you know? Oh, well, I, I haven't made up my mind yet. What they're saying is they haven't been paying attention to the election, and now somebody stuck a microphone in their face. You know. So how you can't decide by now? I mean, well, I, it, I, what? Yeah, it turns out that he invested in the company that sells canned Arnold Palmer drinks and thought it would be a good way to boost sales and <laughs> oh, I benefit did. his okay. stock. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who? What? What got person running for president talks about Arnold Palmer's penis? I mean, in a Donald Trump. Well, yeah. He's, yeah. It's not the first time for him. Well, who is it? The head of the uh, the Congress, uh, the Republicans in Congress, got on and Johnson. Said, well, you know, he does a two hour speech. That's how much stamina he has. Yeah, he has a two hour speech because he keeps wandering because he can't have a coherent thought. But, you know, she gets she does a speech in forty five minutes, and it's goodbye. You got all the information, right? Hey, Alex, if I play my my crappy set list, will you just dance to it? Avi Maria. I'll be happy to. Come on, pull yeah. some. But make sure it's the Pavarotti version. I have to play We're it twice. We're 45 minutes. <laughs> did, you, did you see the video that Jimmy Kimmel put out with Dave Batista? The, the, yes. the making fun of Trump? Yeah. The yeah. greatest video ever made. Really? It's, it is hilarious. I mean, um, but I mean, it's just, it's just, it's really, you know what it is? It's just sad we're going through all of this to begin with. I mean, you people up in Canada, Mike, you must be having a good time laughing at Americans saying, boy, what a bunch of shitheads they are. I mean, <clears throat> I have a guy on my show named Chris DeLuca. And Chris DeLuca wrote for Conan, and he wrote for Kilborn, and he wrote for Ferguson. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he has a podcast right now. I'm trying to remember. Okay. It's like it's called Trump, the American Emperor After Show. And the premise of the podcast is that you guys are all experiencing a reality show. Mm -hmm. And then he and his partners come on and they literally will talk do, about do the, the things that show. happened. Like you know, characters on a show. it's an extremely, extremely clever premise. Well, I and, and it's, I uh, it's a premise. I it's a premise I've mentioned before on my various shows is that really yeah. what Trump is doing is a reality show. I mean, all he knows on um, being on TV is what he learned doing The Apprentice. Right. right. And he's doing it now. So, right. Divided into two teams. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question, though, Alex, about this because, uh, okay, when Reagan, when the attempted assassination happened on Reagan, yeah. Now, I understand the 24-hour news cycle didn't exist the way it does now, all of that stuff. But, like, like one of the major presidential candidates, there was an, an assassination attempt. And it feels just like it's going so fast and there's so much stuff happening. And people are just like, oh, yeah, okay, what's next? What's next? What's next? And it's just crazy. When I think about, I was very young when, 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 when Reagan was shot. But even as a boy, I remember the eruption of of, this, of, this, of news thank you, that happened thank, whether thank you from like getting, didn't. thank you from getting us away from talking about politics directly <laughs> okay no because what you're bringing up is very important. <clears throat> what we have is a 24-hour news cycle and we have how many competitors in that 24 7 news cycle and so everything they do everything they report is 
based upon what they want to do to get ratings and to get more eyeballs watching them. So at MSNBC, <clears throat> what are they saying to all their minions who love uh, Kamala Harris? Oh, man, it's too close to call. This is just horrible. Oh, come on. Let's go to Steve Kornacki and let's look at it all <laughs> and all of that. Well, you know, they don't want to tell you, hey, she's kicking ass because you won't watch them. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's everyone Everybody. is doing that. Uh, Fox is doing that where Trump is concerned. And and, you know, uh, we don't. It, the trouble is these 24 seven news people should be, just be put out of business. You know, I mean, they just, I just they should be not biased. But the constant Why? vomiting of, of of nonsense day after day after day that this candidate is throwing out there, mm -hmm. he's the reason nobody's talking about his own assassination attempt anymore, because he's layered so many other ridiculous things on top of it that it's no longer it's you know, it's it's you, yeah. you've got a you've got a major cut in your arm and now you you got shot and you've got uh, your foot hurts and your back hurts. And otherwise, uh, let me let me ask which you, one do you talk about? Let me ask a question here. Who 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 uh, assassinated Kennedy? We are John Wilkes Booth. We are we are we are. The uh, CIA. Uh, yeah. John Wilkes Booth. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there was another assassination attempt. There were this one was against uh, 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 Reagan. If I'm not mistaken. Who John, Jody John Hinckley. John, John Hinckley. Hinckley. John Hinckley. Okay, now I'll ask you another question. Mm -hmm. Who was the attempted who was the attempted assassin the first time of Donald Trump? What's his name? Crooks, maybe. You you're yeah. the you got it, but basically you don't remember because no. you're not talking no. about him much. They talked no. about all these other guys all the time. Mm -hmm. So why not that guy? Because he got killed. Yeah. Well, I only got, remember him because of his name being ironic. I just thought it was an ironic well, name. What's his name got killed? What's his name got killed? Um, uh, uh, Our, Oswald got killed. Oswald yeah. got killed. We all know By his Jack Ruby. We know his name Wait. 50 well, how many years later? 60 yeah. years later. Yeah. Yeah. And we know the killer's name. We know the killer's name who killed him. We know Jack Ruby killed him. Yeah. 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 We know the guy who killed the guy. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, what I'm saying is, is that it, it's just strange. This, and the news people are just crazy. They're nuts, you know. And I, I just think that we don't get the information we should be getting. Now, the person who's in the middle of the fight right now is Mandy, who is in Georgia, where they're already voting. Right, Mandy? Yes. And I tried to vote this weekend. I didn't make it, but it'll just continue. Next, well, Wednesday, he's going to be, Trump is going to be across the street from my office. Oh, uh, oh, wow. So my sister, when he was here last week, when we landed, we know, remember I was in New England, wow. yeah. landed on Tuesday, I'm taxiing down the runway. <laughs> I happened to just look out the window and there's his plane. I was like, I cannot stand him, please. <laughs> <laughs> You know, this, the flight attendant, we were in the aisle where the flight attendant sit <laughs> cracking up at me. He was just like, oh, I know. But my sister was, her office is across the street from where he talked when he came here last week. And she said it, traffic was a disaster. There were snipers on all the buildings all around. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm not, I don't want him to work Wednesday. It's going to be such a freaking nightmare. Yeah, no, you don't want it. You don't want to make sure you leave your at home. You don't day. want to go near any McDonald's that he's serving him. <laughs> because he didn't know that they don't load him with his bare hands. But we he got found it. out they use tools. <laughs> we got work saying, you know, be real <laughs> traffic. There's going to be a lot of people. They're going to start lining up at 7 a.m. because they're not opening the doors till one. And it doesn't even start till 7 p.m. And I'm just like, wow. Why does Can't he home that day? leave? Why do you have to be here? You know, I yeah. watch it on TV. What are you going to get in person? Right. You can hear him fart. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear it when he's speaking. That was another. You can smell thing it. That happened during his speech. To, yep. uh, who was it too? I can't remember now. I think it was to in Michigan somewhere. If I'm not mistaken. Farted. He, he was talking. He farted. You could hear. Yeah. But he, he doesn't want to sit on white stools on stage. Whenever they give him a white chair, he won't sit in it. <laughs> he was on a show the other day, and he was sitting on a, on a, a towel, right? Right. 
Oh my god! Well, they said they said that was his jacket <laughs> that folded behind him because it's so oversized. Oh no! Like yeah, I, his jacket on. I think his jacket has carbon filters in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I uh, I certainly would like a president who farts occasionally so we can talk about it. But you know, well, but his followers say he's the shit. <laughs> It's just that it's going to be all hell for you down in Georgia because that's one of the main states they got to hit. And, well, uh, and there's well, nobody here from Pennsylvania, but that's a living hell down I'm there. I'm so over it. I'm even sick of Kamala. I hate to say that, even though I'm going to vote for her, but I'm, I just want it to be over. I'm just tired of the text. I, I have, to admit, I have yeah. to admit I'm sick of Kamala, too, only in this respect that they run every speech on MSNBC that she gives. And every mm -hmm. speech she gives is the is what we call the stump speech. Yeah. Stump. Every pre person who runs for president has a stump speech. Now, they vary from it. They generally change the first, like, 10 minutes of it or something to make it fit with yeah. where they are. But then it goes right back into all the old stuff. And, yeah, we're sick and tired mm -hmm. of hearing it. I think she's terrific. Good. Sure. You've sold me. I made my vote. Goodbye. So it's like the complete opposite. Trump doesn't have a stump speech. He he weaves, as he calls it. <laughs> no, he does have a stump speech. He's just not reading it. Yeah. yeah. No, he's <laughs> dumb as a stump. <laughs> I, bumped it. I, I don't know where the rally was that she was just at. The funny thing that happened where the hefflers were there. I love that when she said. Oh, she, when she said. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. at the wrong. You're at the wrong rally. You're at the wrong rally. You, might, you probably want the one with less people down the road. Yeah. That was great. That was a great line. Yeah, just her, like her demeanor too, is just like she is. I, I think she's like, terrific, but, but you know, I, I've, I've had enough of her, and I just shut up and be president. That's yes. all I care. Yeah, you know? I wanted to win. I wanted to be president, and then mm. leave me alone for the next four years. I'm on my. Yeah. I'm, I'm in. I'm in the index of my years. Okay. Well, it's in the know, last chapter. It's now the index. I'm just so, I'm just so, I have, I think I have internal stress about it. I'm trying not to have it, but I feel mm -hmm. like I do. How many here have internal stress about it? I mean, the, feel it. yeah, yeah. You, uh, you, Marjorie yeah. definitely feels it. Yeah. You know, I, I see her every day. She's just, and the trouble is she sits there watching MSNBC, which only makes it worse. You right. know. I'm, I mean, I understand that. I get that. I do. It's like the doom scrolling you do, you know, when you want to just sit there and go on Twitter, you know, just so you can hear everybody bitch about him. But and that's another thing. I feel like Elon is only stumping for him because he knows he's good for Twitter. What he's good for is all his other businesses, too, because the, who is the main supporter of uh, SpaceX? The government. They have more government contracts than just about anybody, and they should. It's a good company. It does what it has to do. It delivers the goods, and they should be backing it. But but he has that company going, and he can just funnel as much money as he wants into there if they give him some, some kind of uh, – I forget what they want to give him if he becomes president, something, if uh, Trump becomes president. Um, but what Elon is doing now is – I can't get exactly what it is. You have to sign a pledge. You have to sign a pledge. And if you do, you no, get no, a amount of money. It, to support the Constitution. That's not a bad thing. Okay. But he's giving out a million dollars, what, a day? Mm -hmm. you, know, mm -hmm. you know, until he doesn't have anything left. Why do you get, and I got an idea. Please he's, give us all a million dollars. <laughs> why don't you give everybody in America a million dollars? Yeah. Okay, I mean, I don't know if that can be done, but I think it's close. Yeah. Yeah. But I have money it, some people are questioning whether this is legal or not, whether he's trying to influence an election by, you know, bribing people. Yeah. Hey, if he comes over here and gives me a million bucks, I'll vote for Kamala. It doesn't matter in my state, but he'll never be here. You yeah. know. But he could vote for, for Trump for a million dollars. What you vote for Trump for? Oh, sure. In, in New York, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, it wouldn't matter. Oh, no, I, I know. I'll be happy to take your million bucks, you know, and I'll send a hundred thousand of it to Kamala for her, you know, her uh, supporting her cause. I never you understand the foundation of every one of Elon's businesses. It's rent seeking, using government money as his as his funding source. So when when Obama was in office, he was very much a Democrat and very much aligned with him. 
Yeah. And he feels like this Trump guy is going to give him additional power. Yeah, but because... what's going to happen? What's going to happen to Elon Musk if Trump loses? And what's going to happen to Tesla? Nothing. How many here now, right now, knowing what you know, and I know you're all Democrats and you're all voting for Kamala, but how many of you right now would buy a Tesla? No way. See, no I way. think what he's done, no. he's killed half his business. Yeah. But I wouldn't buy a Tesla because I know people who own them, and when they have damage or they need parts, they sit for three months waiting for a part. Their 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 service well, sucks. That, mm. not that um, excluding that, mm. okay. Why would you want to buy a, a Tesla if he does this sort of thing? You know. Yeah. Uh, now I root for SpaceX. I think SpaceX is terrific, and I think the reason it's doing genius things is not him. He's just paying out the bills on it and getting the money from the government. There are people working at that company who know what they're doing. Well, Tesla existed. He bought into Tesla. He's not the guy who designed anything there. The, the guy who started Tesla wasn't him. Right. But it changed, every, it changed the dynamics of the auto industry. I mean, there isn't an auto company now that doesn't make an electric automobile. But now that they're all making them, I've got a choice. Yes, you know? Got and my choice them. probably would not be a, t a Tesla, although Have I like you things about driven the in one compared to the other electric vehicles, Alex. What? Have I ridden? Have in you driven in one? And I haven't driven, driven other one, ones as I've, well. I've ridden in one just a couple of weeks ago when I ordered up a a, a so, lit. Yeah. yeah. Candy and I are probably going to get an electric vehicle for our next one, mm -hmm. and right now it's a Tesla for sure. We compare it to the other stuff that's out there. The, the Porsche is nice, but it's a little out of our price range. Um, that's probably the one we're going to get just simply because it's a better vehicle. I would only I would, I disagree. I would only get it because of my fear now of driving and the fact that it can drive itself. <laughs> of that, though. You know, again, I was told by, by, uh, by uh, uh, Musk just the other day, don't believe computers. They're not reliable. That's what he said. Well... Yeah. How how do your how do your Teslas run automatically? Uh, by computer. My wife's ma my, the reason I say that is my wife and I just uh, her Mazda at least on her Mazda just came up. Mm -hmm. I'm deciding whether we go electric or not right now. But anyway, she just got a new Mazda CX-50. It's very nice, very nice. It drives itself though. It's got that. It's not electric, but it has the capability. It drives itself. It's got the auto steering thing. It's oh, okay. it's, it's all in the. They call it in the it's in the cruise something in the cruise control or whatever. Now it's got a steering thing where it literally drives itself in traffic. Really? You really? don't even. Have to, yeah, yeah Neri's new car pedal. has that. Uh, Neri's yeah. new car has, has, has Super Cruise, yeah. the sh General Motors, which is the best one in the market. It outperforms know. the Tesla completely in Super Don't say cruise. Super Cruise because uh, uh, um, Charlie here is in Texas, so don't say Super. Cruise. Down. Oh, that's so not that's not super cruise. That's blowfish, <laughs> blowfish cruise. Yeah, but, I mean, I mean, it's just uh, I, he's going to lose. I, I think it's I, I, think, I think it's going to hurt Tesla's business. I I think there are people who just go. I'm not. It, buying. it, it already has Alex. It already has Sig significantly. Yeah. Mm. yeah. What about what about the fact that he paid forty four billion dollars for Twitter and it's worth like nine billion now? Yeah. He's completely ruined that business. As well. <laughs> well, I think he wanted, with all his money, he wanted some kind of platform he could bully the world with. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. I don't he think. He, right on. Oh, I don't think he planned to make money off of it, uh, unless at one point he wanted to charge subscriptions to it, so yeah. that way you could use it with subscriptions, and then nobody would use it because exactly. they still got Facebook and other things like that that they can use. You know. So, I mean, but, uh, huh? BMW tried to do subscriptions on their heated seats in their car. Oh, I remember, they they could I remember that. Yeah, so uh, subscriptions don't work. People aren't going to pay $400 a year to have heated seats. Nope. No, no. But they, they will pay $400 for something else that's very sufficient and helpful and does what it's supposed to do. If they said you can have an automatically driving car, but you're going to have to pay four hundred dollars, I think some people would consider that worth it. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's just an add-on. Like we have add-ons to everything else. But uh, you know, I don't know why what must must things he's doing. I mean, to begin with, he wasn't born in this country, 
So I don't think he knows the American people well enough to know that once you do stuff like that, that part of the country who doesn't agree with you is not going to buy your product. Mm -hmm. Um, Are there other products over the years that we haven't bought and they kind of went out of business because they just got too political? Like, I'm not. Yeah, that's a great great question. (laughs) Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it's a great question, but do I get a great answer from anybody? (laughs) I mean, (laughs) Still, huh? with Adidas shoes. Um, I'm trying to think what else. These, these are yeah. That's a, that's a great question. My pillow. <laughs> My pillow. My pillow. There you go. Oh, really? still selling, right? Hobby, Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Hobby Lobby. I've never yeah, gone back. Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My question is, how many of you, if you haven't stopped doing it already, anyway, are never going to go to McDonald's again? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go into the We just put that body into that apron. Yeah, what did you what did you say, uh, um, Charlie? Uh, uh, Mike? Oh, oh, people tried to boycott Chick fil A for a while there. Chick fil A. I don't think I don't think they lost a step. I mean, I don't know if they lost a step or not from their from their internal numbers, but I know that was one that people tried to tried to boycott. This, I, I go uh, every Sunday, Mike. This I'll week. never go there. We go. <laughs> I'll never go there or Hobby Lobby. This McDonald's yeah. this McDonald's he went to is privately owned. It's a yes. privately owned yeah. franchise. And they but shut it down. All those people were, were were you know players, if you will. Yeah. They paid the guy to do it. It's all bullshit. Did it's they all pay- yeah. mm-hmm. Yep. Really? Yeah. Just like when he did the the he was in a non union shop with guys saying it was a union shop in, in Detroit, everybody wearing union uh, true union for Trump. None of them are in the union. He did a fire one with a guy saying that they were firemen. And none, none of them were. It's it's all everything he does is is facade it's stage and bullshit. Moving. So so that he paid this McDonald's to go yeah. and do yeah. this. And the whole thing was because he's trying to say Kamala didn't really work there, which I'm like, why are you obsessed mm. with her working? Yeah, at- yeah. I mean, let's say, let's I, say I worked at McDonald's. That was my very first job, and I was even saying yesterday, I was like. Would it actually be in the record that I worked there? Like, could somebody dig that up? That I oh, you don't have it on your resume, Mandy. <laughs> 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 Say it. it was like well, that's what he's claiming. Two years ago, I worked there. Would it be in some kind of? Could you find it on the internet, like from forty-two or forty-three years ago? Probably not. In your IRS records, well, maybe. So what I don't get is his obsession with whether she worked there or not. Although I mean, I don't care whether she. It's worked. very possible. I mean that. Oh, they, they, they don't have records of those things that go back that far. How long ago was that? You know, she was in her maybe like, teens. Guys, we're talking about it. That's the thing. It's just like the Obama uh, birth yeah. certificate and all that. We're talking about it right now. These are, like you said it yourself, it's a group of folks who have, uh, you know, declared themselves, well, everybody Democratic except for one Canadian. And, and we're all talking about him right now. It's genius. It's absolutely genius he is able to do get people to do this. Yes. Yeah. He's genius. Please don't say he's a genius. No, he's not. Stable, stable <laughs> hey, hey, I'm just <laughs> calling it like it is. Uh, it's, it's, not, not genius. it's not genius because it gives an opportunity for everyone to recognize that he's full of shit. Because all right, the more me, it's, the, it's past the point of, of return. Birth. Right. Yeah. But, there was a point that it benefited him and then it flattened out and now it's hurting him. Uh, you know, um, Mike oh, makes a good point, though. Hey, hopefully makes, you're right, man. I hope you're right, Andrew. I really am. No, but Mike makes oh. a good point. This is how he got elected in 2016. Yeah. MSG, Thank you. He yes. couldn't stop shutting up about the guy. And he sure. what, didn't have any money for a campaign. He wasn't getting a lot of money. But he won. And he won because and every night Colbert talked to everybody. Was every talking. night all these people. Yeah. But, but it's it's over time. It's like it's like taking heroin. It gives you great benefits up front, I would imagine. I've never done it. And you keep getting benefit and benefit from it. And then after a while, it 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 starts making you miserable. Well, the, I, the level of exhaustion of yeah. people having to yeah. listen to this stuff well, the, uh, is helping get Republicans to not vote for them. Well, here's the here's another thing I'm tra- wanted to say is that you're tired of all this shit. You know, you're exhausted about this. You're exhausted mm-hmm. even thinking about it, and yet he has dominated the national discussion for the last four years. Yeah. No, ten years. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, he laid off. I think 
uh, between 2016 yeah. and 2000, I think. I don't know. He was president. He was president. <laughs> he was on every day. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would say from 20 to 22, he was a little quieter. But yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's just like every day is something, you know. And 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 America, if you're listening to me, aren't you tired of the drama? And they yeah. all this bring drama to they, this they, is he, him. I would say from 20 to 20. Before though, how many times did we talk about the insurrection? And anytime I hear, I hear anybody talk about the insurrection, it is linked right to Trump. And I hear it again north of the border. I hear it all the time. Like the guy has not left the news cycle since 2015. He'll leave the news cycle when he's behind bars. Well, you know, I don't. I, I, I no. lips to God's ears. Well, you know what's coming up is uh, November 22nd. He's going to be sentenced. Yep. And if he's not if he's president, president, is he he's still going to be sentenced? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The only and reason what the, the only reason happened. the judge moved it to the twenty second is he wanted to move it out of the election cycle so it wouldn't affect it. Okay. Yeah. But then, if he is sentenced, is it time served? Is it is it is it uh, you know probation Probably. after he serves his you term as president like if that happens hands on the judge the judge could say you're going to jail tomorrow mm -hmm. and he could be president or be coming up on being president might be a lot make it to the inauguration unless they do it in the prison I heard he was going to be that, sentenced to live in Kelowna Canada in where Kelowna Canada <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard they were building an oval shaped cell at the Rikers Island, so I don't know. <laughs> oval, oval shaped cell. Yeah, but I mean, uh, that's coming up, you know. So, what are they going to do about that? And I think that uh, I think the judge's plans on sentencing him, but he didn't want to do it during the election cycle because he didn't want to be accused of trying to affect the election. That's right. He's smart. He's yeah. very smart. Yeah. Um, you know, this but, is that reality show taking place. Like it is unbelievable what's going on. But it just it it blows my mind that it took this long. It took this long to even convict him or to have a trial. Four years or however long. I mean, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. That's on Merrick Garland. That's on Merrick Garland. Yeah, yeah. it is. Well, Merrick Garland, I think, has said, hasn't he said that he felt guilty about what he did? Now he felt it was waited. Wrong. Yeah, but he, but they he even admits he was wrong to do it, you know, that it did affect the election. There was no, but you know, it didn't affect it. I mean, she got what three million more votes than he did. It's just he played the you know the uh, the game, and he won by. He's never won an election by popular vote. Never, ever. But he's only won one election. What? Yeah. He's only won one election, and so. that was only because he of the uh, uh, the electoral electoral college. college. He and, didn't, and, and he cheated. All, yeah. all they they stacked the ballot boxes. They they used the computers. You, I heard Mike Lindell talking about it. How you do that? <laughs> but he, all those voting machines changed the votes from from yeah, Hillary you're right, to him. Right, right. I get what yeah, you're yeah. saying. <laughs> you know. She won. She got, oh, hey. she got cheated. Okay, so it was rigged. Yeah. What were you saying, uh, uh, Mike? We just had a provincial election here, uh, up, up here, and and um, because because of of the, women, because you're very provincial up there, right? <laughs> we are. That's right. We don't have states; we have provinces because we're so provincial. Um, <laughs> what's the name of the the voting machine that uh, like Giuliano owes however much money? Uh, Dominion. Dominion. What's the name of the Dominion. 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 Dominion? Yeah, Dominion voting machines. God damn, were they slick? We were like, oh man, this is a, it was such an amazing process going through. We had these Dominion machines up here, and people knew the name, obviously because of the the you know all mm -hmm. the hubbub going up down south. Uh, best voting experience I've ever had, by the way. Just uh, you know, it just they worked out. They worked like a charm, and a bunch there, of people another, have said that. There's another machine too that's uh, suing Smart, Smartmatic or something Smartmatic. like that. Smartmatic. Yeah, yeah. Ours with the Dominion though. We had the Dominion up here, and it's the first time that I've ever seen it. I, and it's, I, I'd uh, sue them just for having a stupid name. Well, they're made by the same people who made the Bassomatic on SNL years ago. <laughs> Ron Popeil. <laughs> Ronco. I liked him. I interviewed Ron Popeil once. Did you really? Yeah, he was cool. Yeah. He explained to me the whole process. He said he, he you know why he always, you go to an ad and he tells you, okay, now, now I'm going to give you the pocket fisherman. But if you order right now, we'll give you this. And then, but that's not all. If you order now, we'll give you this. 
He said that was always his process, mm-hmm. is that he'd give you the thing for like the, uh, you know, for $49.95, okay? And okay, mm-hmm. it was worth $49.95. But that's not all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's part of this. It's so- true. They have to take a truck to deliver everything to your house that you just <laughs> bought for $49.95. Yeah, it's about creating a sense of urgency. He said that was his ticket to success. In yeah, some ways, yeah. you want to create a sense of scarcity and urgency in the, in the <laughs> customer. Disturbing yeah. intrigue. Oh, Absolutely. Only oh, wait, 10 left. <laughs> you know, only 10 left. How, yeah, yeah, how many yeah. times are you buying something online? It says only three seats left, only 10, yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, all, but he invented that whole process. He was a great guy. I enjoyed it, interviewing him. You know, it was a time when we had a lot of these kind of people on. I had the guy from the men's warehouse on. Oh, geez. George Zimmer. He was George a Zimmer. left. He was a real left winger. He was a crazy ass left winger. Oh. He was. I listened to him. I said, "You're a communist compared to me." <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, we were talking about uh, popular vote. Out of the last seven presidential elections, Republicans have only won the popular vote one time, and that was 2004 with George yeah. W. Bush. Mm-hmm. Huh. Mm-hmm. Not even Reagan? No, I'm talking about the last seven. Last the, last, seven. the last seven. Anybody name the last seven? I didn't even yeah. think of Bill Clinton twice. See the guy from Canada can. Go ahead. Bill Clinton twice. Yeah. Okay, last seven. George so W. Bush got, twice. Yeah. Barack Obama twice. So Biden yeah. and, and Trump, and Obama, Trump Obama. and Obama. Uh, Trump and Biden. So, yeah. At least four of them were Democrats, right? Yes. Yeah. The Democrats yeah. always won the popular vote when they uh when they won. Well, it could be there are more Democrats in this country than there are Republicans, but they're not in the right places. That's the the problem. Well, that's why we need the National Popular Vote Interstate Compact. Damn it. Yes. Damn it. But it's going to be a while before that happens. Well, we're only 59 votes away from it. Well, it's it's a great idea. What it is is states have signed on that they will pledge all their electoral votes to whoever dominates the the national vote. Yeah, whoever right. wins. Okay. Well, I'm not superstitious, but I hear rubbing the uh, Palmer Palmer statue in a certain place gets you luck to win the election. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, it's all about rubbing the Palmer. Yeah, you know, we should have all come on today. By the way, the Ar- Arnold Palmer, phenomenal beverage. Just so you know, Alex, did you ever, ever interview Cy Sperling? Is Cy Sperling? The hair he was guy? the founder of hair clubs yeah. for men, and he no, was I, 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 I don't think I ever interviewed him. We, I think we tried to get right. it, but we couldn't. <clears throat> All right, we we did a week at uh, in San Francisco of just uh, people who were you know on the air spokespeople, and it was fascinating. It was absolutely fascinating. I mean, they made these whole huge companies based upon a certain marketing philosophy and it was amazing how uh how good they were at it you know uh, paul from the diamond center <laughs> there you go yep. that's in the bay area yeah, about I, the guy that invented oh, I, the I, had it, I had him on the show a couple of times oh no kidding yeah yeah uh i wanted to get one of his cheap that's where i got a cheap ass wedding ring for marjorie yeah. <laughs> really <laughs> How much do those rings cost us, Marjorie? I don't know, but we got the flowers at the gas station. No, no. the rings. He <laughs> didn't supply the rings. Wow. We got the flowers at a gas station. We right. signed our we signed our marriage license at, at a, a McDonald's. <laughs> well, this woman Boy, nothing but the best, huh? Marjorie got a hold of this woman, and she had a business of you want to come up to Lake Tahoe? You want to get married at Lake Tahoe? I'll do it for you. It's like, what was it, 200, 300 bucks, something like that? And for a and little extra, I'll do the photos. I No, not even a little extra. She included the photos in the deal. Wow. So Jeez. she took pictures and things like that, you know, and then she took us over to McDonald's and had us do all the legal <laughs> stuff. Well, yeah. That's amazing. And we were she, was, st- she was Ron Popeil. <laughs> and we were standing yeah. right next to a statue of Ronald McDonald. Mm-hmm. That's because the manager had a notary public. <laughs> he did. 
She did. That woman did. Charlie. Yeah, real quick, because Manny may have to leave early. I just want to congratulate her because her Georgia Bulldogs laid a real ass whipping on my Texas Longhorns. Can Lawn you Lawn. believe? Yeah, they did. Good for you, bud. Crazy. Yeah, that was a crazy game. We had some friends that were there, and they were sending pictures and stuff. That was that was crazy. Yeah, they keep talking. I get to keep my uh, Emmy if you do. <laughs> <laughs> Is that on a subscription service or something? Or what? <laughs> yeah. oh, my Emmy? Yeah. They had controversy because there was a call late in the game that the referee did air, and it was a really bad call. And when the fans got, it was against Texas and it was wrong, but <clears throat> fans started throwing things onto the field Yeah, and it was so classless, so tacky. I think they have been fined $250,000. Can I ask yeah. people just one simple question? Why when teams win now, do they pull the goalpost out of the ground and throw I, it in the river? Yeah, really. I don't. Mm. They started throwing stuff on the field, like water bottles and stuff, and yeah. full water bottles. Beer cans. Stuff. And the coach even walked over to the student section and was telling them to stop. But at the time, they didn't get any kind of penalty, but they've apparently been, the school's been fined by the SEC. Um, but they, it's yeah. set a precedent kind of that, like, if you, the fans will get mad. Yeah. And do that, then maybe the refs might reverse a call. I if, only think it would become interesting for me if they all beat the crap out of each other. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they've done that too at some of those Texas OU games. Really? <laughs> yeah. Boy, yeah. big fights after the game. Yeah. Yeah. Hundreds yeah. of people arrested and all that. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It's. It was good, but yeah, it makes you think. There's just way too much emphasis on football it really is yeah um i uh, my good friend here john ewing you live in um uh, tip uh what what nevada, nevada. 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 We're in san francisco yeah, yeah but uh, nevada and uh it just reminded me that petaluma is close to you and i just got a thing from a guy when i was a kid uh, I did, uh, we did a, a couple of some radio shows from a nightclub, a teenage nightclub. They had a teen nightclub in Marin County in San Rafael called the Cloud Eight. And I and my friend uh, Roy Trumbull uh, went out to this place and recorded a show there and had certain acts that were on the show play music for us. And one of them was a guy by the name of John Allaire. I get a thing the other day from John Allaire. This has got to be in my teenage years, okay? Wow. And he's probably the same age I am. And uh, he, he went, I'm going to call him and talk to him. Uh, maybe I'll do an interview with him because there's a lot to talk about. Yeah. Like how many years? Mm. I mean, I just heard him out of a clear. And the funny part about it, you know, have you ever noticed how if you're sitting around the house, we were discussing this the other day, and you mentioned something, and then all of a sudden you turn on YouTube and the very thing you and were doing about is on YouTube. Yeah. That's because um, Alexa is listening to you. Really? Seriously. And then when you watch YouTube, it comes up on YouTube. Well, the other day I was playing a, an old radio show that I had done from that place called The Cloud Eight that I found online. You can find it if you go to the Bay Area Radio Archives. And it's there. And, um, in fact, I think Roy Trumbull put it up, if I remember correctly. Anyway, uh, he's now gone. But uh, I, 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 we were talking, uh, I was playing a tape. Uh, not a tape, it's not a tape anymore, but a, <laughs> a digital recording of <laughs> that recording that was done at the Cloud 8 with John O'Leary playing and all of that. Next thing I know, I'm getting a Facebook thing from him. Uh, do you think one had to do with the other? And the, the, no. the Amazon was listening to me mm -hmm. and, and got a hold of him and said, hey, Alex is doing this. You know, well, hold on. It, it could have been a, a people that, you know, thing that went across his Facebook feed because the algorithms connected things or whatever. Like They say they don't do this, but I don't believe it. Oh, well, I'm going to ask. But he's on Facebook. Yeah. 
I'm going to ask him how he found me. He said that we have we yeah. do a show together in 1970 here in New York, uh, but uh, I don't remember it. But he, uh, I, I want to ask him how he found out about me. To begin with, well, of course, he knows now because he was with me in 1970, but I didn't use the name Alex Bennett back then. Jerry! <laughs> <laughs> I have a tape of her when she first found out that I used the name Jerry Bennett. And she couldn't stop laughing. She couldn't stop laughing. That's adorable. Yeah. Four years I've been doing this, I've never heard Marjorie do that before. That's delightful. Oh, she laughs. Yeah, yeah. Jerry Bennett her makes her laugh every time. Now, I don't think I ever used any other names besides that. Now, oh, I love it. JB in the morning. Come on, about yeah, James Bond. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you why I changed it to Alex Bennett. Uh, uh, I went to Houston, Texas, and I became James Bond because that's what they wanted to do. That was their idea of doing a morning show. We'll call him James Bond. James Bond's very popular, and uh, what? So then, uh, finally, I no longer wanted to do the James Bond thing. And I was I was very popular at the radio station. They made a lot of money out of me. So if I didn't want to do it in the morning show anymore as James Bond, what do you want to do, Alex? I said, well, I understand you're going to do a nighttime talk show. And I would like to do that. And they said, well, we can't use the name James Bond. What name do you want to use? And I went, I'm not going back to Jerry Bennett because I'm going to have a wife someday who's going to laugh about it. <laughs> <laughs> So I took my my personal name, um, which was Bennett, and made it my last name. And then I said, "I'll my I love my father, and his name is Alex, and that's good." So it's Alex Bennett, right? So I, I did change my name. Boy, have you got a smudgy looking yeah <laughs> camera You're smoking there. or something? You clean, do you smoke in your room or something, Gilly? Artistic lighting, I love. But cinematic. Yeah, it's well, it's not it, great can you hear us, Giller? It's this fog machine. <laughs> <laughs> he just had a, a mini kiss concert in his uh, living room. Yeah. No, I think you should clean your lens. <laughs> oh, now he's got to go find a cloth. <laughs> I, I actually, I don't think he ever leaves that room. I think he's trapped there. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Look at all the stuff on him. He, he's not the screen, the lens. The he lens, the, lighting not thing. the screen, the lens. There we go. There, it's a lighting thing. Kairos Ouija yeah. man. Oh, Don, if you're being held ca captive, let us know, will you? Yeah, blink <laughs> light. <laughs> oh, that guy makes me laugh. <laughs> I can hardly wait till he puts a shower into that office. <laughs> so, <Turn> the camera. <laughs> How you doing, Geller? I need a pen. This is good stuff. Here you go, Doug. Let me let me just email this to you. You got a 3D pen burner? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know what is he really looking for a pen? What's happening? No. Oh, yeah. Guess who's leaving for yoga or whatever yeah. she does? What is that? Yeah. Yoga. Yoga. What no. is Yoga. What is it? You Pilates. Just... No, it's oh. mixed stick. What? Who? <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's called like a class that uses like little shaker weights and like drumsticks, and it's a lot of yoke. Like we pound on the floor with the drumstick. Oh, just never mind. <laughs> really? Just, I'm not even gonna try. To it's not face. yoga. That... Though. <laughs> That's almost as embarrassing as Jerry Bennett. <laughs> I, I think you get a video of that for for us. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why? If some next time, shoot, shoot your thing, and then we'll just watch the video or something, or we'll put it up somewhere. Well, I usually use my my phone in my class, so I have to have some other form of recording device. Yeah, what we uh, used to do Facebook Live back during COVID and stuff. I have some videos that like will pop up sometimes on my Facebook, mm -hmm. um, but. We don't do that anymore. So. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You're a drill sergeant, Mandy. What? I said, I've seen it. You're a drill sergeant. You know how to get them going. <laughs> yeah, I thought you had some on Facebook that we got to see. Yeah, oh, long yeah. ago, I think I actually went live on my own page. 
Yeah. I was supposed to go live on the Facebook group, but I went live on my own page. So all these people were watching it, and it was really embarrassing. Even my ex husband was watching it. <laughs> you, you get you get, paid, you get paid for this, right? Yeah, just like not very much. It's, not very much. Yeah, but it's you know it's not bad. You well, know? you do it probably to get the gas in my car every week, and you yeah. probably do it to get the exercise. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know. And nothing better than forcing other people to exercise, <laughs> having right. exercise along with them. That's right. Yeah. I need somebody here to coach me on my PT because it doesn't seem to be working. I do the PT just like they teach me to do it at the PT sessions. And then it's not working. It's I'm still, I'm like Giller. You know, I can't. How often do you leave the house, Giller? Oh, geez. I just want to talk about Trump. <laughs> How often does he leave the house? Happen. I've seen the house. I've seen it happen. What? I've he seen does. Don leave the house. It's, he does. Oh, I saw him one day when he left the house. There you go. When was that? Uh, well, on the video that they had of the uh, thing with... Uh, uh, oh, the Rupert. Rupert. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you... yeah. I've seen it happen twice. I've seen it happen twice. That's right. All right. He, yeah. Hmm. But he never got out for Shecky's uh, memorial service. Because I wasn't invited. <laughs> That's not true. You were invited. I wasn't invited. I think I invited you, didn't I? Yep. I didn't get a formal invitation from a, a woman who hates me. Well, how do you expect to get an uh, invited by a woman who hates you? Why well, don't you allow yourself to be invited by a guy who likes you? I'm trying to fuse that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Charlie likes me. If you sit around, oh, if you sit around waiting for people to invite you who like you, you're never well, going be a anywhere. long wait. You're never going anywhere. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's what I'm banking on. Yeah. No, we would. It would be great to have you at the memorial service. You know. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. might come for that. Well, here's Paul 11. This may be the largest amount of people we've ever had on at one time. Uh -huh. If Andy doesn't no. leave us no. alone. Yeah, here's you, Paula. Had, here's you Paula. had 100. Oh, of years. Look how many people we got. God. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm so late. <laughs> we have, uh, what is it, uh, 12, uh, 15 people right now. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of people. How many of us have uh, of course, voted? Of the problem is, though, Don Giller has not been invited. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't count. He doesn't okay. count. We have 14 people. Yeah. 14? How's it going? 17 or 18. Fine out there in, uh, in uh, Ohio? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah, we're, yeah I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I just got involved in something I was doing, and I, I suddenly remembered it was Monday. <laughs> oh. I forgot. Hey, Paula, I have a question. <clears throat> have you ever been to Bell Fountain? To where? Be Bell Fountain, Ohio. No. no. What's that? Uh, uh, Andrew? Andrew? Yeah, Andrew? yeah. Just north of Yellow Springs there. What do you think of it? It's a town. It's a small town. It's a typical Ohio town. Why are you gonna move? They in? have a little ski hill there. <laughs> in Ohio, they do the baby hill. Go sledding and skiing in Bell Fountain. I've got friends that live right near there. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving there. Are yeah. you really I'm moving there? But no. <laughs> Why did you bring it up? It's such an odd, odd reference. Well, Paul is from Ohio. <laughs> yeah, she's from. She's from Akron. So there's. There, there are microfilms I, 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 that are not online, and the only way to see them is to go there. Wow! Oh, oh. so you got to get copies made. Go in your place, and it means leaving the apartment. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I it, how, how much of it is there? I could probably find someone to go do that for you. That'd be even better. You, reach out to me after the after this. I'll see if I can find somebody. Uh, you AT and T? No, you've got. Facebook, send me a message, direct message. Yeah. No, oh, you said reach out and uh, or uh, <laughs> reach out and touch someone. Yeah, or four tops. No, just or, take a hold of them. I have five tops. It's one better. Just get a hold of them via Facebook uh, Messenger, and you'll be yeah. yeah. I'll get you my email address that way. His name is, my phone is oops. His name is Andrew Deutsch. 
I don't have a pen. Oh, <laughs> Here. <laughs> is, is this one? There's there was a whole land. Every, uh, give them your address. We'll have everybody watching this program now send you a pen. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be like Reagan and his jelly beans, except it's Giller and his pens. And, and look, isn't that a nice shot of, of, uh, of our uh, Mandy in the car? Yeah. yeah, that way it's wide enough, and you can see the road and everything go by, going by her. Ooh. That's great, you know. Well framed. Oh, what what about Cadiz? What? C A D I Z. Uh, no, south of Zazu. That, that sounds like a town in Spain. What are, you, what are you? What are you trying to find all these towns for? Are you doing a research? Because I'm bored. <laughs> I don't know very much about Ohio. I'm like a transplant. I'm I'm a Philadelphia oh, girl. You know, I have people that have have watched this program and say mm -hmm. I'm sick and tired of you talking about Cadiz. Cadiz. <laughs> Cadiz. Cadiz. You just, all you talk about is Cadiz. 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 Huh? <laughs> oh, Cadiz. 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 Hmm. Hey, Don, I just sent you my email address and message. Yeah, I saw it. I just blocked yeah. you. Good. <laughs> oh my God, he did. <laughs> I've been reported. I'm now in jail. Facebook jail. <laughs> you bastard. Now we got the two funniest people that call this show talking to each other. <laughs> That's a delight. Oh, there it is. So, <laughs> so it's Andrew. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to Oh, sure. <laughs> you know, to everybody. He could have just it's, said. If you it's read. unfunny fat guy at att uh, dot com. Well, that's me. No, that's me. No, you're not fat. By the way, you know what I'm drinking today? Ooh, tell us. Coffee. Arnold Palmer? And you know where the coffee was? <laughs> it was two days ago that I put it in the refrigerator. Oh, how disgusting. Ooh, I, love, coffee. I oh. love cold coffee. I can't yep. get enough of it. It's good. How many here like cold coffee? I actually if, do, it's yeah. a, if it's okay. iced coffee, yeah. yeah. Iced coffee. Oh, iced coffee is if you put yeah. it in the refrigerator and it gets cold, it's iced coffee. I guess so. You, mm -hmm. you know, you put an ice cube in, it's even more iced coffee. Yes, uh, 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 our, our, I have to look at your name. Mike Chisholm. Jeez. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, so sometimes, like, I don't drink coffee per se, yeah. and I have this crazy limited energy and have since I was a kid, and I don't understand it. But if I do drink a coffee, it is like literally a superpower. It, 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 it's like Captain America getting the special secret serum thing. It just <laughs> really hits me. The Kirkland Signature Cold Brew, because I know you're a Costco guy. The Kirkland Signature Cold Brew, the little little cans. Oh, yeah? And I mean, you keep the fridge or whatever, you blast one of those things back, and it is a rocket fuel, let me tell you. It's the good stuff right I'm there. I'm going to try it then. I need rocket fuel. Too much sugar. Mm -hmm. And and the, the Kirkland cold yeah. brew. It's straight up just coffee, not flavored, not anything. You just slam it back, and uh, you're off to the moon. What's the stuff they have when you take cocaine and you uh, uh, you supercharge it? It's called uh, freebase. Uh, free yeah. So I, I, you know, I'm tired of freebasing. So I really, <laughs> I'm not a baseball fan. I don't know free. But I need what? a coffee that's really going to get to me. You know, and it's true. Yeah, Kirkland cold brew. <laughs> You don't know what freebasing is, Mike? No, no, we're, we we like hockey up here. In Canada. No, that's when you play baseball and they say, "Okay, you." Oh, it's how it's how Richard Pryor set himself on fire. Yeah, yes. right. yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, anyway, so uh, uh, anybody quickly, anybody seen good movies or anything? No, <laughs> bad ones. How about you, oh. Mike Chisholm? I I've been waiting to talk about this today, but we were talking about Trump and McDonald's and stuff. I watched, have you guys seen Will and Harper on Netflix? No, I haven't. I heard somebody say it was terrible. Uh, <laughs> Will know, and Harper I PTA? I was going to watch it and somebody said, don't bother. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really listen to what people say about this kind of stuff anymore. Cause I, I like to, my, I'll tell you, um, things like that are, in my opinion, pieces like that are the things that will bring uh, uh, people together and they will collaborate more again. Like, I mean, I that? cannot see anybody who has a heart that wouldn't look at that that film and have empathy for folks who are in the transgender community. I just was, uh, it was so, to me, it was such a beautiful, beautiful piece I, I, of- A lot of 
I have a lot of sympathy for people in the transgender community because they have no sense of fashion. <laughs> <laughs> I, I watched it. It was disappointing and, and boring, and I have great compassion for transgender best people. Thing, the best thing I ever saw was Meryl Marco when she was doing the Michael Moore TV show. And she did this bit about I never felt that I was attractive. So I went to people to make me attractive who I felt knew better than anybody else how to do it. And she got a bunch of transgender people to dress her up and make her up and everything else. And when she was through, she looked like a cross dresser. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's YouTube. I have, I, have you seen this, it? This thing made me cry. It, it mm -hmm. literally made me well up. There's a part in it where they go to California and it and and Harper was talking about some of the things that they did to mm. avoid, you know, coming out. And and it was just it was absolutely heartbreaking. And I don't know. And then, and then it showed the reaction of people in Texas when they went through Texas and, and just, oh, my gosh, when you know this person as a person. I mean, we, we can um, get into this. Uh, we're running out of time now, although there's no such <laughs> thing as running out of time here. We could go on forever. Uh, sure. But the the question that I have is. You know, if you make the choice to be a transgender, you have to also accept the prejudices that come along with it. You don't have to live with them. You can avoid them and so on. But you can't really just don't sit around complaining about them because you made the choice. You know, absolutely. You made the choice and you know the social <laughs> stigma associated with it. I would argue that it's not a choice in the Thank same way as being gay is not yeah. a choice. So th this is this is a good point because Harper mm -hmm. lived with it for a long time and hit it, and 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 but made the choice to actually at sixty one years old to 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 bite the bullet and 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 you know jump into the unknown, mm -hmm. and the way they talked about how they felt about life before versus how happy they are now because they're not living that life and that well, part that's there what I'm is saying they made they've made they made a decision to do what they're doing to 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 go ahead with yes. that lifestyle and there are Despite there are benefits problem. to that and the benefit is you're no longer being inauthentic okay yes you have to also understand at the same time it's not going to be easy you know it is going to be tough yeah. it's going to be tough i mean it isn't tough to be gay anymore Oddly enough, but it's still tough to be transgender. You know, you have to be very tough especially to be when you're a bad dresser. Okay. Yeah. So, I wish y'all could see the car I just passed. It is a white Camaro and it's got red, like blood splatter all over it. And laying across the hood with its feet dangling onto the bumper is coming up. Maybe I can point to it. It's got a skeleton. Y'all see it? Oh, it's a Halloween thing. A Halloween. Oh. 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 Huh? Yeah. Well, we hope yeah. it's a Halloween thing. Yeah. Have a wreck. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. There it goes, yeah. <laughs> it's got a skeleton like laying across the hood of the car. <laughs> By any chance, is it Trump's? No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, my, I have two very close friends that are transgender, and they're, I've never seen two women struggle with the decision to do what they did and what and the aftermath of it. They alienated friends that, that will never talk to them again. They struggle every day with that possibility somebody's going to find out and beat the crap out of me. It's yeah. a horrible, horrible thing. And yet they both of them are so happy. And I accepted both of them as they are now. And if they're wonderful people, and I, I can't imagine having to make Listen, that choice. I go back way back with transgenders. I've probably told you this story. There's a song called Walk on the Wild Side by Lou Reed, yeah, yeah. in which he mention, mentions three transvestites, and every mm -hmm. one of them was my friend, mm. especially uh, uh, Candy Darling, uh, mm. who, in fact, uh, I was very close to and wanted me to, she wanted me to videotape her on her deathbed, and I couldn't. I just couldn't, wow. you know. Wow. Uh, what? Transvestite and transgender. Yeah. There's a difference between those. And there were yeah, there, there were two others in in that song, and they all represented different kinds of transgenders. And uh, in those days, they were just called uh, they were called drag queens. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they were called in those days. But I wish you, I could get I, one to read I, I, story. I, when you story. If you don't think I understand them, I truly understand them. And I always, whenever 
Tandy came into a room, I would kiss her hello. You know, she demand she she was so good at it, and she was so had so much dignity that uh, I admired that in her. And whenever I met her, I treated her just like a woman because that's what she wanted, and mm -hmm. it was her. You know. And she did it so well, you never had a problem with it in, in keep saying, you know, her instead of him. Yes. Uh, uh, Not to, I know, I know we're over time and, and thank you. Overtime is fantastic. Um, there, our viewers are getting bonus footage today. Um, that is exactly the premise of this movie because, because Will Ferrell worked with, you know, Harper, who at that point was Andrew Steele forever at Saturday Night Live. They've known each other for 30 years. And mm -hmm. the whole thing was at 61, Harper decides to start living the life that he wants to live. And and Will and, and and Harper decide to take a road trip across America trying to ask all these questions and go through this to figure out what their new normal and their new friendship looks like. And there was no question that was taboo or off. And, well, and to friendship, me, uh, the friendship doesn't change if you're friends. If well, you, it if you're deserving, does it change is the question. Does, does the dynamic change? Like that's the question. And I think that it will go very far. Anybody who watches this, I think, and, and films like it, it will go very far because it asks a lot of the things that people have inside and they're afraid to ask, I think. Well, nobody realizes it, but Marjorie is a transgender, and I've been living <laughs> with her for years. You know, I approach everything with humor, and that's the first thing I did when I saw one of them when I hadn't seen him in four years. I walked into the room and said, eh, what's new? And she <laughs> <laughs> you know, and she appreciated that and gave me a big I, I, hug and said, you know what? transgender I knew that got mad at me because he was he had been my producer at WMCA, at WPLJ here in New York. And years later, I met up with him, but on the phone, right? Mm. You know, and and um, I kept referring to him as him, not her. And, and they were very disappointed by that. They thought that was terrible. And I said, mm. it wouldn't be terrible if you were here. Because then mm. I could say she. Yeah. But you're not here, and I still remember you as him. Yeah. You know? But he was very... I felt he was less forgiving than I was of his transgenderism. Okay? Mm. So, um, you know, don't beat me over well, the Well, and then as, as a result, he called you Jerry, right? He called me just <laughs> correct. Hey, listen, uh, we, we got to go here. Uh, Marjorie, can you hear me? Marjorie? Hmm? No. <laughs> She's uh, back in there. Oh, there. Oh, hey, Marjorie, oh, Alex wants to see you. Hey, uh, hold on a second. Uh, 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 n n um, um, let's see here. Uh, uh, Alexa. Uh, no, I use uh, I I use uh, Echo. Echo. I use Echo. Announce Marjorie. Where are you to say goodbye to our group? All right, I gotta go, guys. Uh, <laughs> it, Every, everybody's got it. Bye, Paula. Anyway, mm -hmm. bye, Paula. Thanks bye. for joining bye. us, Marjorie. Thank bye. you for joining us. Uh, uh, Alex, thank you for joining us. Uh, um, Charlene, thank you. We appreciate it. You've hardly said anything today, but you know, the few times you do, it's really good. So <laughs> you can talk up more. Uh, Lynn, out in California, thank you. Vernon, down in Kentucky. Francine, I'm not in Kentucky. Huh? I'm in, I'm in. I'm in Virginia, and and I have not seen as many Trump signs as I usually do on my two-week mountain vacation oh really good sure. good that's good news but thank yeah. you thank you very much for joining us today vernon and uh francine witt she's right down the street <laughs> Bye. Uh, <laughs> did you hear me uh and jeffrey stein he's up in connecticut and uh oh mandy o'brien is driving through georgia to go do <laughs> whatever that kind of workout thing uh, Something with does. dicks. Huh? <laughs> what did you say? Something with dicks. I don't know what she said. <laughs> I said sticks. Oh. Oh. oh, same thing. By the way, we also got to say goodbye to, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, huh? No, you have his name, Don. Uh, Andrew. 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 Right. Andrew. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, thank you to Jeffrey Stein. Thank you to Mandy O'Brien. Thank you to Charlie Wallace. Thank you to Mike Chisholm up there in Canada. 
By the way, Charlie, feel sorry for him. He's in Texas. Uh, John Hewing, who is uh, uh, in, uh, um, uh, oh, God. Nevado. Nevado. Why, I know the name. Why do I keep blanking? I guess it's a, an old it's man. A area thing. Mm. Thank it's you, a Bay Area thing. It's a yeah. Thank you, Don. I appreciate it. Do we get paid overtime? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, but you can go to um, uh, the uh, um, what do we call this show? The uh, pop up yeah, page, the pop up overtime. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so it's oh, is, it, is it like midnight blue? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. least we forget. Giller, you and I still have to get together. You live so close to me, it feels like we have. Neither one of you will leave the damn house. <laughs> Well, he can come over here. Can stay He's not home. leaving the house. <laughs> huh? And then he'll never leave. That's yeah. the problem. Anyway, everybody give a big wave. Hello. Uh, what give about Edward? Bye to you. Edward. 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 I know. I know. I'm never going to forget him. Where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Edward Berger signs us <laughs> off, as always, by saying. Yes. That's all, folks. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you, Alex. Thanks, Alex.